best, by far, archaeology textbook. I know what you're wondering. You're like, King Kellerman, what is the number one best archaeology textbook of all time? A tough yet common question, but I have the absolute answer to this, and that is archaeology is awesome by an author I like to call Andrew Kinkella. Why, pray tell, is this the best archaeology textbook of them all? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I wrote it, and also, um, this thing, you know, this was a labor of love. Uh, I wanted a textbook that I thought would break archaeology down into very understandable chunks. And to me, archaeology is actually, I think, the hardest of the four fields to teach. You know, I think things like cultural anthropology or biological anthropology are honestly much easier. Their, their organization is way more straightforward. Archaeology is kind of weird. Like it's, it can be done in a lot of different ways and it's, it's tough to figure out, you know, what's going to work. But for me, after teaching this for over 15 years, teaching it all the time, you know, several section of, of it every semester, I think I've really hit on what works, if I may be so bold. And what, what you got here is 15 chapters for, for my students. They know how this is set up, right? It's set up just like the class. And it's really three chunks. The first third is the history of archaeology. And we kind of go over the big finds and stuff. You know, this is where you're going to do your, your King Tut. You're going to do your Stonehenges, this kind of thing. The second portion is the doing of archaeology, where we learn about how to dig square halls and how to survey an archaeological site and all that kind of good stuff. And then the last part is great themes in archaeology, archaeology and the environment, archaeology and the law, and so on. So that's how I divided my textbook up. It's, it's three chunks, five chapters each, and my chapters, you guys, are tiny. Like the entire book clocks out at I think 170 pages or so and 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 honestly I don't even know if you can see it or tell but the font is what I like to call massive um it's it's very easy quick read and there's there's two things about it that I really like that I that I thought work really well each chapter starts with a story of my own you know where I where it's sort of like so there I was doing this thing and giving you a real feeling for what it's like in archaeology real feeling for what it's like to do it and even times when things didn't work out for me I talk about that a little bit in here too so each chapter is organized like that where it starts out with a story of mine that relates to the theme of the chapter and then I go on to the background of what the chapter, what we're going to learn about, like if it's archaeology and the law, you know, we'll, we'll sort of learn about the three ma major laws in archaeology and then give one simple example at the end. And that's it. So not only do I start with a story of my own, I also, the other thing that I do that I really think that most archaeology textbooks do poorly is I only use like one example. So many textbooks use a thousand and one examples in every chapter. I th just think it makes it way too complicated, right? So this is very straightforward. I mean, and the chapters are can be so short as just a handful of pages long. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at one here, Archaeology and the Individual, where I kind of talk about burials and this kind of thing. Chapter 12, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, six pages long. See, and another thing that I, that I do, my, my, my genius on top of it, is that throughout the chapters, there are QR codes eh? that you use your phone and the QR codes take your phone to this very YouTube channel, huh? 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 I know. Thank you very much. Right, so it's actually extremely interactive and it works with your phone. So what you do is, whatever chapter we're doing for the week, 
you read through, it kind of starts with the story of mine and you go, oh yes, Kinkella, wow, that's a funny story. You know, and then as you move on into the terms and the ideas and the concepts, every so often there's, right, there's, there's a QR code where you read, 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 and then you kind of click on the QR code. You watch one of the, these videos by me, they're short, they're a little tongue in cheek. And you know, six minutes later, you're off to the next thing. And that's really it. And then you sort of take notes as you go. At the very end of, of the book, I have what I call the field journal, which is a series of exercises, of little projects that, that you can do. And actually, you know, instructors can choose as many or as few. I have, yeah, I threw nine of them in. There's nine different archaeology projects that students can do at home, um, they can do on their own, or you can do as a class. And then finally, I have a big, a big list of key terms, you know, um, that, that span several pages that are really good for taking notes and that kind of stuff. And that's it. How much is this? This lists on the Kendall Hunt website, 50 bucks for the, for the uh, paper version. 45 bucks for the ebook version. I'm telling you guys, I think the paper version is by far the way to go. Um, I, I'm, again, I'm really happy with it. Um, I asked the publishers, again, Kendall Hunt, the easiest way to, to get this is just to go to the Kendall Hunt website and search for archaeology is awesome. And it will come up. I, I'm really happy with the, the cover. I know when you look at it, you're kind of like, what? what is a sort of brown, you know, weathered cover? What I wanted was the look of kind of destroyed leather. I told the publishers that I wanted my book to look like if you dropped it at the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland, that nobody would notice. And I think they've done a really excellent job. Again, you can see there's sort of a pseudo Indiana Jonesy cover art to it you know with the swoosh um and and really there there you have it a very straightforward simple this book is stone simple written in the way that i talk so if you guys have seen my other youtube videos you know what this is like i would say the people in middle school could read this and and use the the interactive qr codes and just get a lot out of it honestly that's what i wanted it's it talks in very simple straightforward language just like i do right there is like no jargon in this i hate jargon it destroys my inner child so if you are looking for a straightforward stone simple intro textbook on what is archaeology and you just want to learn what the field is from beginning to end, three obvious chunks, the history, the doing of it, major themes. I highly recommend Andrew Kinkella's Archaeology is Awesome. Buy it today.